Uh, what's going on guys? It's better by the day. Get a little bit better each and every single day. And today is leg day. It's leg day is always fun because it's a grind. You get in there, you go out there and you grind it out. Um, I will say I've been running a lot recently and I think it's starting to catch up to me today. But the thing, the thing I want to say about that is I think that your body just needs time to adjust. When you start going above and beyond and doing more, you're going to feel tired. You're going to feel hurt for a little bit. And that's just because your body is adjusting to the new workload that you are putting on it. And eventually it will come back and it, that will start to feel easy too. But I'm in that adjustment period. I went from running like around two to three miles from anywhere to like four to five and a half. And I'm, I think I'm really starting to feel it. I started that about two weeks ago. So we'll see how today feels. I definitely feel like I'm in an adjustment period uh, cardio wise, just on my body. It's starting to feel like a lot. And last week we did the single rep 405 PR, which was exciting, exhilarating and everything else. So maybe we, we take it somewhat easy this leg day, obviously never easy. And I always get in there whenever I'm like, all right, we're just going to do some good solid reps, get in there. I end up just going for it all because that's just how I like to train. That's how I like to do things. So body's in a little bit of an adjustment period. Great leg day last week. We'll see what happens today. I'm always excited to go in there and grateful for the opportunity to get better. And it's always fun to go in there and just throw some weight around. So I'm excited for it. And I'll see you guys at the workout. All right, fellas, let's break this down. Started it off with the 405 squat again. Uh, second week in a row, I've gone for this, and I think this was my best rep yet. Um, it was really good. Got pretty low. God, I might not. I just might not be that quite low yet. I might need just a little bit more. So we're going to continue working on that. Then another pretty heavy set, 485. I think I got one good rep here and then two partials, which again, I'm trying to get used to the heavy weight on my back. So my body adjusts to that and is comfortable doing it for when I do go for the full rep. So again, fairly happy with that. You know, I'm not complaining about that. That's fine. Um, just slowly, slowly getting there, getting better and then dropping it down all the way to, I think this is 335. And I think I get five really good reps here and then five partials, which is what I was going for. And again, the partials are just going above and beyond. They're, they're not stalling out at where my full reps end because you still have more in the tank after that, dude. A squat is such a hard exercise. It takes so much out of you. You're, you're not done when you finish your last full rep. You still have so much more left in the tank. You just, you can't quite complete that rep again. So I think partials are really big on squats. I might be in the minority there. I, I've never really heard of other people doing it, but it's something that I thoroughly enjoy and think is impressive and helpful. Um, and then right here, just RDLs. Again, if you're an athlete, uh, baseball and football specifically, you get so much power from your legs. I know RDLs seem kind of girly, but don't skip them. They're really important and uh, they can be really beneficial, and especially baseball, even more than football. I mean, if you want to hit home runs, look at all the great baseball players. They all have pretty big glutes. Um, RDL right here. Smith machines are different everywhere you go. And I've liked doing RDLs on Smith machines at plenty of places. But I think this gym, I, I just, I don't think it's there for me. I think that, and it's a learning thing. You know, you try, I tried it one day. It's not really working. So I think I'm going to go back to doing those with just normal barbell and weight at this gym because um, it's just, it's hard to rack it. You know, like some Smith machines like get off really easy and you can do the reps. It's hard to like get the hooks back over. And when I'm exhausted and like, trying to do it. It just, it, it feels weird and I kind of mess it up. And then, you know, I drop the weight and whatever, it doesn't work out in the end. So that's kind of a bummer. But um, right here, I skipped the machines today. Usually I show you guys the machines or one machine and then just go over how I did all the machines. So I'm just going to sneak that in here. I did a bunch of machines, um, cranking out calves. I wore sweats today, unfortunately. So you can't really see my leg uh, indentations and whatnot, and then just some forearms to bang it out at the end of leg day. So pretty good leg day overall, and uh, looking forward to the next one, man. It's always enjoyable. Get out there and work hard today. Let's go. All right, what's going on, guys? Little post cardio or post pump talk on leg day. I don't usually do cardio after because my legs are already pretty pretty good, pretty got going. So yeah, really pretty good workout today. I'd say really good considering the fact I was so tired today. I've increased my running drastically over the last week or so and i think it caught up with me today i was just so tired when i got up i was so tired at the gym but i was able to go out there throw that 405 around for another really good set um had some really good things to look about had a couple good conversations at the gym which i don't always do sometimes i'm a head down guy sometimes i'm a head up saying what's up guy um so i mean yeah just the little things that you really appreciate some people are really nice some workouts are really good. Some workouts are only all right. 
And uh, some days when you're not feeling that great, you just got to drag yourself in there and you'll get it in and you'll feel so much better after because of it. And who knows, maybe you'll surprise yourself and throw around 405 again like I did today. So yeah, man, just get in there, get after it and let's go. Keep pushing.